you tube. I just thought I'd uh, just been playing around with this a little bit. I haven't made any changes or anything like that. The only thing I've made changes to this setup um, is have a little listen. Nothing. It's plugged in. It's all turned on. So um, you can see that there's a quiescent current over there. That's for both. It's just warming up. There's a voltage, 50 volts. And the only thing I've changed is I bought myself some new speakers. These are um, Q Acoustic 3020s. And boy oh boy do they sound nice. It's inspired me to take my CD collection, which if I stack them all from the floor, it's just slightly taller than me. So it's not a massive collection, but I've got quite a few CDs. And, and over the weekend, in between going out playing with the children and grandkids, I uh, decided to start flacking them all. Not the children or grandkids, the, the, uh, the, uh, the music. But uh, in my Linux system, I was using Linux lights, and I didn't have the right codec, so I just used waveform with no compression. Um, and I've built myself a big collection, so I've got a whole bunch on my laptop here, and and uh, it's an absolute pleasure listening to this thing. And I, you know, I've been looking for enclosures for it, and they're so expensive, especially the metal ones. And so I think I'm going to do. I've seen. It's a John Audio Tech. He's got his listening high amplifier built into a plastic enclosure. So I will take it as I can use a plastic enclosure then. Um, as if, if he's doing it, then chances are it's all good. Uh, well, not chances, it is all good. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd... Uh, for, the, for the buzz, I, I just, you know, just... I went into, I've just been watching some videos on humming buzz, and so I'll just put this back on again, because I'm... And continue running in these speakers, but there's nothing, is there? Nothing. I mean, you 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 have to really listen to see if you can hear anything, and really, no. I'm so chuffed, and even if I put my hands over places, because yeah, all these wires are sticking up, then might as well be bloody roofed up antennas for this thing. And there's no screen or shielding on the power supply side of things. So, hmm. Really, really happy with this. Really, really uh, happy. I probably will have to um, buy the, the better parts and build another two with the better parts and just see if I can maybe compact the whole circuit a little bit more. Because uh, there's plenty of room there, look, for it to compact it in. But as it was my just first attempt of just doing the layout and uh, getting it all on and getting it working. I'm not going to give myself a terribly hard time about it. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, honestly, if if anybody is out there and you think to yourself, I want to build a little amplifier circuit, I, I'm, I'm promising you absolutely 100% you will not be disappointed with this particular amp not disappointed at all and I was um, yesterday when I got home in the evening my neighbours must absolutely adore me because the floors here are like a ceiling in a normal house and I got a, a new um, what's it oh, what's the album called the new it's not a new who album but it's um, back then and now album oh my life you know, it's just this this thing rocks between those speakers. Now they push right up against the wall as well, and the ports are on the back. But I put the bungs in, in the ports, and there's no boom. There's no nothing that you'd be. Uh, and it's nice because they got magnetic. Oh, let's pull that off. Look at that, beautiful. I, I there there are other speakers. I looked at some um, Dali speakers but yeah I don't they, they look lovely but I prefer them just to look plain and basic but sound absolutely lovely. Oh look little little magnets. Mm, that's how transparent really that is. There's gonna be absolutely no um no no pulling this no no uh, muffling the sound at all from there but these things are absolutely gorgeous. I got them for £120 from down south made maiden head they sent them up uh, ordered them in the afternoon. I had them the next day. Absolutely brilliant. 
Uh, yeah, so all that was with uh, delivery as well. I chatted to the bloke quite a bit, you know, get on the friendly side, get the best price for the day, and I uh, got it, and that was including delivery as well. So I'm really, really chuffed. I did think about, you know, trying to replace my uh, 73s, and I did find some, but they wanted £60 for them. And I just thought, oh, you know, it's quite an old design. I may as well just, um, I may as well just buy myself some new ones. It's been a long time since I bought myself some speakers. The last speakers I bought were the Kefi the Q3s uh, for my lounge. Mm, so, and I wanted some uh, halfway, some halfway decent in here, but not too big. And they just seem to be absolutely great. I just had to pull the rack forward very, very slightly just to accommodate them. And the only reason I put that little bit of sponge underneath that uh, was just so I don't scratch the bottom of the speakers because the feet that you get are slightly well, it would be no good set on the rack. The, the, the rack would sit in between the feet, and I just don't want to scratch them. I don't want to scratch them. Keep them nice for as long as I can. And I got the walnut ones because I just love wood. I do really like wood. So, mm. really, really chuffed. I might just give you a little tiny bit of a listening pleasure, even though you probably won't get the best, but you might be able to compare it to the other sounds, the other ones, and um, consider it quite nice. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, I decided to hook up a dummy load and put it to the skirt. Just forget about the FFT for a minute. I'm just I can't bother just doing that at the minute. I'm just looking at the sine wave and I can um, I can pretty much see if it's clipping or not. I just noticed that I've got this set at 250 volts and it sort of sticks. It's a little bit annoying. So look, I'll, I'll quick show you. Um, I've got 2.6 volts there. Uh, that's peak to peak because it's coming out of that sine wave at 1 kilohertz. And then uh, I'll show you down there what's happening. So we'll see what it's doing over here. Current wise, nearly an amp of current. We're not clipping at all. And we got 16.5 volts. Okay, so I'm not going to run it too long. I don't want anything to happen to it. It's not getting really hot. It's sort of lukewarm even if that so I'm not not particularly bothered and I've, I've done the math already well I've done the math I used the calculator a lot uh, what do we have so if I just cancel that and I'm do it again so we have 16.5 we'll square that that equals 2 272 divide that by the 8 ohm load so we've got 34 34 watts so I'm wondering when um, it says 60 watts and 8 ohm loads. I wonder if that means 60 watts is in stereo, not 60 watts per um, side. So I'm going to imagine this. It's that then. But but look, even though the power's off, this this thing's sticking, and that freaked me out first when I first noticed it stuck because I. I've got it disconnected, you know, here, and, uh, and I can see it there, <laughs> what's going on here. Um, but yeah, so, I could probably, you know, try and see if I could just stick that little bit extra on, but if it does mean, um, if it is, if it is saying, because um, it was 16.5 on there, wasn't it? I'll just square that again, and then uh, divide it by the 8, because they time load. So yeah, we got 34. Mm. It's definitely not 60 watts coming out of there. It's 34. So I don't think I'll be able to get that. Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe I can from one transformer. It's 160 VA, so I should be able to get, even if it was only like a 50% efficient, you know, 80 uh, watts. So, so maybe. That was just a little quick thing. I wanted to, to do that just because I keep playing with it. And I, I absolutely love, you know, I love listening to it. And as I think I showed you in the first bit of this video, of course, I got my, my new speakers, which sound absolutely cracking with this thing. Mm. Yeah, I just I just wanted to just do that little quick test and share that with you, just in case anybody was wondering, you know, what I can actually get out of this. And remember, I've not got the greatest of the components here. We've gone for the absolutely cheapest of parts 
um, just because you know this whole setup that I've got is pretty much it's about as cheap as you can get really the whole lot <laughs> I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a video about what I've got on my bench and what I've got why I got it and how much it cost and if I tell you I got pretty much everything here forget the speakers and my computers that's not really fair you know, my laptop and my main computer you can't really put that in because the speaker addition but if I said the whole lot everything um, not including the bench you know just the, the, the kit as it were was less than 700 pounds you might be surprised but I'm telling you now it was and so I've actually put a little bit extra on that as well um, money wise just because it seemed like it was too little but that's what it's cost because a lot of my stuff you know is um, you know, second hand bits and just making bits that's a spider look I've got a friend hello mister mm. yeah mind. he won't bother me so I'll just Leave him to get on with his life. Yeah, so there you go. There's a little quickie. It's only a few minute video, this one. So I will um, I'll see you on the next one. If somebody asked me if I'd do a thing on this um, this meter. They asked me if I'd do a, another one of this. Because the first one I did on this was pretty terrible. But do you know I'm petrified about making reviews on anything? Because I just don't... One thing, I don't have anything to compare it to that's like industry standard. To say whether it's accurate or not. To, I can't be bothered with all the modes on it because I only use it for testing transistors. So, and that's all I wanted it for. And it does that, it does the job for that. So, for me, it does the job. But anyway, I digress. Still love this little lamp, and I would still recommend to anybody out there build it, enjoy it. It sounds cracking. And as you would have heard in the first bit of this video, there's no noise from it. You know, you don't get any harm, you don't get anything from it. So, pretty damn good when there's nothing when it's not plugged into anything you do but that's because it's picking up you know everything from there is quite sensitive if you touch it you make an all all right on noisy noise well there you go well it's quite late at night here so i'm gonna be quite quiet because the uh, lady is trying to get herself to sleep probably so cheers for watching guys i'll see you in the next one 34 watts not bad <laughs>